What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I'm playing a game on my uh, display here on the Z Flip 3. Yeah, I'm getting killed out of the way. <laughs> uh, and uh, so there's a, there's a way on how to do this, how to make this happen. It's a way to make all your apps run kind of sort of on the, the Z Flip 3 using this uh, APK. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to download it and how to make this happen on your Z Flip 3. So let's have some fun. Sit back and relax. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So if you wanna take your outer display to the next level, I'm gonna walk through you step by step on how to do it. Now, there's some pros and cons in doing this, right? But if you want to utilize the, the front display to the full of its potential and to run basically almost all your apps, uh, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do it. Now, there's some caveats to this, right? Uh, it's a smaller display, obviously, right? Everything works. I can have touch screen and stuff like that, but uh, it, it's a really neat concept, especially if you want to watch a YouTube video or something, or maybe a movie, uh, or maybe look at some text messages or something like that. Now, I will leave the APK down in the description below so you can download it, so you can walk with me step by step on how I did this. So if you download the APK down in the description below, let's do this together. Let's go. All right, guys, so I've uninstalled the widget or the launcher uh, from my device, and uh, I want y'all guys to see that I uninstalled it. I have the APK down in the description below so you can download it straight to your device. It's really relatively simple. All right, so some things you have to do. Well, one thing you really have to do to even install this app. Unfortunately, you have to uninstall Samsung Health. Uh, the health uh, app that you have on your device. So you have to uninstall it. I've already uninstalled it, so I can't show you that because it's no longer on my device. Uh, the second thing you have to do is you have to go to my files, uh, go to your app drawer, type in my files. All right, once you download the APK, which is in the description below, go to my files and you're gonna see Samspring Launcher, Samspring, right? And that's the name of the app. Uh, once you click on it, it's going to ask you to install. Now, if you're installing this for the first time, you have to give it permission to download unknown apps. All right, once you do that, just hit install. Now, if you have Samsung Health installed on your device, this app will not install. So you do have to install uninstall Samsung Health. Now, the app right here is downloaded it's, and it's installed. All right. Uh, so I'm going to hit done here because it's something else you have to do. Unfortunately, uh, you have to disable your lock screen. All right. So you have to go to your lock screen. Okay. You have to go to your lock screen. Unfortunately, you have to put in none. Uh, so any type of security feature that you like as far as face ID or fingerprint scan or whatever, you have to disable it in order for this app to work. Now, these are the pros and cons of, of using this app. Next thing you have to do is you have to go to your widgets. And as you can see, all I have is a clock widget and it say add a widget. So when I click on add a widget, I have to find the widget. There it goes. So that's the widget that you have to add to your outer screen. Click on it and basically that's it. All right, and there it goes. Here are your apps, right? So it's relatively simple. It's relatively easy uh, to make this happen. Now, I played the game in the beginning of this video. Also, y'all guys saw me uh, play a YouTube video. So let's go back to YouTube. I think it's basically best for like YouTube videos and stuff like that. And at the bottom, there the it is. is so text. it's pretty dope if you want to watch a movie pretty much with a smaller display. I'll use, do some text messages and stuff like that. Uh, what I tell you that the keyboard doesn't work. You can view your text messages, but there's no keyboard that's gonna pop up here. So just be aware of that. It does have its limitations. Uh, now to exit out of the app, right? Uh, you just have to click your, uh, your power button. Click it back on, now I close out. That's how you close out the app. All right, so I have Twitter open. 
And uh, I know a lot of your guys might say, well, why don't you just open the device up and, and watch, read Twitter? But I mean, this is a use case scenario, right? It works good, right? Touchscreen works really good. And it, I mean, you know, you can watch a movie or do other things here. Uh, all your apps is, is available. Now, again, you know, it's don't have the keyboard capability. So you, you can't type on it. And why would you type on a small display like this? But it's something that uh, it's nice. Look, I want to give a shout out to XDA and all these developers that's getting all these exports and all this stuff like that, that's making it happen. Uh, no root necessary, so you don't have to root the device at all, uh, but you do run into security risk that now your device is 100% unlocked, all right? So you have to be the judge for yourself if you want to have the Z Flip 3 totally unlocked because you have to change your lock screen to none. Look at that, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about having a dope screen. Now you can utilize your front screen. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, this is dope, I like that. And it looks really good. It's really good. All right. <laughs> This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.